Dan Perry here with another Dan on Tech Active Directory video for Northeast State Community College. As we continue working with Active Directory, what we're going to find is that we need to do a lot of planning before we actually build our system. Now it's going to be a few videos before we actually get in there and start building our system, but what I've done is I have uh, created a little worksheet and it's not complete as we go along we may add things to it that's going to help us before we start building our domains building our information so I've got a root domain remember the root domain is the first domain in a new forest and so the first thing would be the name of the domain and let's say it's going to be my.local so our domain name is my.local and this is our first so I would probably just say yes or a checkbox so that this is the first domain we can use the same worksheet for additional domains that aren't the root then you want your IP addresses so whatever we're going to use for IP addresses. So if I'm going to use, say, 192.168.10.0 for my network address, and let's say I'll use the default subnet mask, and out to the side, if I need to put any notes, I could. Well, I'm not going to do IPv6 or worry about that right now because I've not got an IPv6 address from my uh, ISP. Now, we will have our local link IPv6 address created. Then we'd have our first domain controller, whatever we're going to call it, na it now. So I would probably call it something like DC1 dot my dot local whatever the IP address is for it let's say it's going to be 1010 its subnet mask which would be the same as the domain in this case uh, whatever the default gateway let's say I had a router uh, need to put the default gateway in and I would continue going down and filling in whatever the address is my DHCP server my DNS server and this would be a way I would start doing my design now again there are things that I've left out of this worksheet and as we go along we'll add as we go but by doing a good plan before you ever start your installation then you're going to be in good shape so I know what to call my machine I know what to call my domain I know what addresses I'm going to use so as I install server and then promote it to an Active Directory domain controller I have my answers thank you for watching this Dan on Tech video for Northeast State Community College Please subscribe to this playlist so you don't miss future videos.